Hey everybody, it's Maddie from Crafty Lore, and I finally have my Medieval Mirage Design Team project for you guys to see. It is a beautiful Italian-themed junk journal that I created for a lady in Finland. Her name is Lea. She had asked if I could make her something that was filled with everything and anything that has something to do with Italy, along with some of her favorite flowers. Um, not that that's not her favorite flower, but that is a real flower. Um, but she loves her calla lilies and her red roses. This book took about five months to make because I was in the middle of four other projects along with my classes and work. And then I had two family illnesses, one of them almost serious, but they're both okay. I'm glad everything worked out. And I am just extremely happy to finally be able to put something out on video for everyone to see. <laughs> I worked really hard on this book. Um, that piece that you see right there is part of the book closure. It features a Kelly Lily uh, belt buckle along with some jewelry findings that I hand sewn into that fabric that is tied to this beautiful medieval looking lock that I hand painted in gold. And the four corners of this uh, book end piece, they're Kelly Lily charms that I glossy accent on. So it was really hard for me to find um, calla lilies because when you type in lilies on the public domain or online, um, you get all types of lilies, hardly any calla lilies. So I had to actually purchase a book on Amazon in order to feature some of the calla lilies that you guys will be seeing throughout the signatures of this book. So... This is the first signature of the book that features an interactive piece here. I believe I am undoing a inside tuck that showcases a collage tag. And I mean, I am just in love with Jarvis kits. I think I must have used maybe six or seven because as you all know, <laughs> I'm cuckoo <laughs> and it's my... ADHD adult brain that can't just function or just work with just one kid. I have to have several. So I would say about 95% of everything you guys see here is all um, medieval or Jarf's um, kits, except for these pictures. These are some public domain images of Italy and some pictures I cut out from some Italian books. But yeah, it, these are just so pretty. Oh, and then there's a Kelly Lily on the... Um, on the right hand side of that. So this signature that you guys will be seeing it doesn't feature as many of the embellishments I usually put in because this book is nearly sporting an alligator mouth. I tried, really, really, really tried <laughs> not to um, get that alligator mouth and, and it sort of worked. I almost did it because um, if I hadn't, I would have to redo the whole book lock. <laughs> <laughs> so as I usually say in all of my videos if you take everything out the tags the ephemera pieces anything extra um even the the some of the tags I used the, the lobster clasp to to hinge to the pages I mean you could take all of this out and the book closes beautifully as usually as usual <laughs> but um yeah I, I I did have a few complaints regarding some of my books because so many, uh, a few people have said that there isn't enough room for them to write. Like, how can anybody write on anything when I decorate on everything? And I never thought that I decorated or embellished that much. But then I know I'm a bit, uh, I can get a bit embellished crazy. So as you guys can kind of see, I have. I mean, I did gesso on everything. There's gold streaks everywhere. Um... I, I tried hard to not do that though. There are a lot of blank pages, like lifting up this piece here. Usually I would put something underneath it. I loved it there so Leia could write out her thoughts. But I mean, when you buy Jarf's kits, there, you don't really need to embellish at all because her pages are just so utterly beautiful. I actually had a hard time <laughs> adding things to a, to any of her pages. So yeah, it just it's just so pretty and as you can see even though I use like six about six kits they all mesh very well together so I had a lot of fun in making this book but it it was mostly of a, a side project so that's why it took so long to finish it because I had other things that um, other obligations 
But I hope Leah likes it. I am, I'm definitely going to miss this book. This book took a lot of energy. <laughs> it has a lot of me in here. Um, so let me see where am I. I'm almost near the end of this first signature. So this first signature is sort of bare. To me, it seems very bare because I usually add a lot more to it. Um, there are some, a lot of like hidden flaps like this flap here will showcase this um, little mini tag that talks about this painted rose and I forget who paints that rose but that rose has a, is a, a, some type of significance in this painting so I left that there for Leah to discover along with her initials LB um, I yeah I I used I use glossy accents, I use um, textured paint, I use uh, distress inks, I I used, um, I just used all kinds of gesso, I, you name it, like there's, I don't think there's a really a bare page, there's like either some type of textural type feeling to the page or some type of look to it, so I, I just wanted to keep Leia's eyes very busy and I wanted to say this too Leia had requested that if I could try not to use so much blue <laughs> or the or not like that she said it like in the sense of that blue is not her favorite color but it was really really hard to find mostly reds and yellows and greens I mean I didn't think it would be that hard because blue and red really go well together so I there are gonna there's going to be some blue pieces I'm sorry Leah <laughs> but I promise you the majority of everything you see is going to be mostly the reds and golds and greens um, that this book turned out beautifully um, so here I am at the very end of this uh, first signature with this uh, very huge collage tag with another I think it's a trifold on the inside of the tag and and these images that you see here that fe uh, that that's featured on the back of that are are from books that I purchased either from eBay or from Amazon um, books uh, ab uh, about Italy and those are both jars um, belongs to one of her kits so yeah I'm done with this piece here I did a lot of editing on this video because this book was really is really really heavy <laughs> i would say it's like it's almost what five pounds maybe more <laughs> it's going to cost an arm and a leg to ship this to you leah <laughs> it's 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 massive so here i have leah's initials um that is i have it tied to some string that shows a i guess you call a gatefold and then here are some of Jarb's um, pages here that I created like a mini notepad. I think it's like three or four pages there. And then behind that features a, a double-sided pocket. Is it double-sided a word? <laughs> Two pockets on the inside and an authentic Italian postcard. Um, throughout the book, you'll find a lot of authentic uh, Italian ephemera. Um, I actually have a lot more to give you, Leah, including some of my handmade um, items that I wanted to put in this book, but I couldn't. Um, on the other side of that was a calla lily. I think I cut that out of the calla lily book that I purchased. Some gold red beads that I strung onto the lace there. Another calla lily. They're so pretty. I love that black and white photograph there. It looks like a photograph, but it's a painting, really. Mm, I think there's about, there's more than 200 pages here, and I'm not counting the many pages that I'm flipping right now. But yeah, you see, like, this tag here is on a lobster clasp. You can easily remove that along with all of the other pieces. <laughs> and the book will close beautifully and I, I know I say that on almost all of my books but it's true <laughs> just take out all of the extra stuff I put in it it's called a junk journal for a reason it's a junk journal so this is a magnetic uh, belt I guess you could call it the features a mini notepad nothing on the inside of it I kept it as bare as I possibly could so you could write 
um, I have several pieces that I really love. Like this is one of them. It's not my favorite one <laughs> of the things that I've made, but basically these are some t um, some tags that I took from Jarv's kits and I created like a um, a hinge book if that makes sense or like a hinge book tag I suppose. And each one features some type of mini tag, so that's all embellished with fabric and and other pieces of paper scraps. I, I rarely ever throw my paper scraps away. Don't look at the blue, Leah. <laughs> Don't look at any of the blue. <laughs> it drove me crazy. I was so hard. <laughs> I think that's another reason why it took me quite a while to make the book because it was just there's so much blue. <laughs> And it's really hard not to incorporate blue when you have a lot of red because blue and red are like, well, it's blue and green really is the perfect like contrasting colors, but blue and red really go well. They go hand in hand, if you ask me. <laughs> so it's, I promise, like I said earlier in the video, it's mostly reds, um, bronze and gold and, and your other um, safe colors, I suppose. So... Yeah, it's a little mini fabric paper collage there. Some old book pages from the 60s or 70s. Um, from my illuminated manuscript book, I think. It's, yeah, I still have... I So I think I have a total of like four uh, books on Italy. <laughs> <laughs> that um that will la last me if if I ever make a neck another Italian book I have plenty of things to pull from <laughs> so I want to get to the part that I really really like there's like I, I think I t mentioned to you guys before that I love miniatures and so in one of these signatures I created some type of like miniature type um see-through window pockets that features um like a painting or like a mini painting that I found in one of the it, the book the Italian books that I purchased and it's guys if you ever get bored and and you don't know like what to do like when you're when you're doing your own work in your journals just grab a magazine grab a book that's colored like any like colored or illustration or whatever like that any type of illustration that you see that's colored and if you just like look at what inspires you and then just let it come you don't I didn't plan any of this in advance it I just did what <laughs> I just just did whatever my my mind like had me do I guess I don't know how to explain it I'm just just don't be shy. Don't be afraid. Just, just do it. Just tear things up and try to put pieces like, like, make, make, make a little puzzle. I guess you could say. I think I'm rambling. I only had two hours of sleep. <laughs> uh, okay, so here's one of my um, favorite pieces. So, believe it or not, or you will believe it as soon as I open it all the way. This is a very old um, 18th, like the end of the 18th century map. It's like 1890s or something like that of Florence and so I did some mini collages on one side of this map the other side is just the uh, stenciling but you open it up and this it features this beautiful and I and I used um uh paper uh how do you call it paint painter's tape to help um enforce the creases of this because it 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 will tear it's so old it's it's not as fragile you could definitely write on it but where where it's creased because it's so old it will tear so I wanted this book to last as long as it possibly can um, most of my pages and it's I'm and this is another reason why I take long when I make my books I you I use masking tape or pa painters tape on all of the pages on the folds on almost all of them just to ensure that it's it stays or or it lasts longer without um, ripping because I really worry about that I, but I use mostly anywhere from 28 pound to, is it 30 pound or 30 something, 30 something pound paper. Uh, the majority of these pages that you see that I print on, are, they're heavier weight paper. I don't use a regular copy paper. Plus the images 
that Jarf uses, the colors, the such. Even when I was um, part of um, Tina's um, design team for Shabby Dabby Doodah, like she she has this beautiful way of 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 using her collages and these saturated colors. Like you would, you can't really use regular photocopy paper. I mean, you can, but it, it the images come out so much more crisp and vibrant. Um, especially if you coffee dye them and then print, it comes out so much better on heavier weight paper. That's that's what I found from my experience. So, I can't tell if I'm in the first or or third signature, or still if I'm in the second. Okay, that was the end of the second signature. <laughs> Here is the third signature. This is magnetic. You don't even need it in this book. You could just leave it out. I have a little um, invoice piece from 1920s uh, featuring a, a piece that I cut out from an Italian book and oh yeah this is a mini notebook yeah and then um, so this magnetic piece kind of keeps the paper above it um, on that page closed so I'm using that to close to keep that page closed so it doesn't just flail about it, it can't f f flail about anyways but it's just a way that you can use to keep you know papers in place I suppose see and then I think that opens up and it features some part of the uh, Italian city uh, some fabric paper collaging I did some um not gesso. What do you call this? Um, white stuff. <laughs> oh my goodness! I can't. That that adds a dimension to it. I can't. Oh my god! Spackling or I can't. I don't can't think of the name. I don't know why. I've. I already know why I can't think of the name. I'm very tired. <laughs> but yeah, I did that on several um, pages throughout this book. Here is another little locket with the real flower that I put some gold paper on. Or you, you call it gold flakes. Uh, paper. I don't know how you call this, but yeah. And um, this little mic. This tag is so cute. This mini tag is magnetic. So you can pull that down to feature one of Jarve's beautiful images. And if you pull it up, it's a some image from a book that I took and put there for Leia and then um, I don't know why I made this piece like the way I did like right here but it's basically <laughs> um, a notepad with a pocket inside I think yeah I show you guys it's a pocket <laughs> and Here's another little interactive piece here. I don't remember what's on the inside, but here is an illustration, black and white, of a building. And then this lifts up. Feature, oh yeah, so, like part part collage, part where you can write some poetry, some Dante. <laughs> um, here's another trifold here with some more um, scraps of paper that you can use to write on. Look, this piece right there is from Jarve's, one of Jarve's kits. I just, oh, her, it is beautiful. Oh my gosh. I, I love Jarve's kits so much. I, she is just beyond talented. I, I, I'm so drawn to her art. She just has a way with collaging and putting uh, a theme together. So here's another uh, image from... Uh, uh, the Kalilili book that I purchased off of Amazon with some collaging on the back of that some foil I, I learned this from Medieval Mirage's um, YouTube site Jarve's YouTube site some mulberry paper okay those are real seed pearls those are real pearls seed pearls and um, I didn't know but Leia is a wonderful talented uh, jewelry artist so I I hope I had no idea that that's what she does on this uh, as her I don't know if she does it as a hobby or it's as her job, but I hope she appreciates <laughs> the real seed pearls. Even though she probably won't think anything of it, they're just little tiny seed pearls. 
but they're, I love pearls. I have a theme for pearls. I, I wish I could, I, I'm wearing one of my favorite pearl rings right now on my um, right pinky. It's beautiful. I have such thick fingers. I used to call them, well, I don't used to. I, I do call them camel fingers because they look like they're waterlogged. Like, I look, they look like, my fingers look like they have humps. <laughs> like water humps um and yeah and so and you can tell my hands are really really red um i think jarf had mentioned in her videos about her issues with um eczema and i also get that it was one of the reasons why um late last year i didn't really put anything out because i had a really bad case of that so it doesn't really help because I don't wear gloves because it really irritates my hands when I do my my little art projects. But when I get the adhes the adhesives, the glues and whatnot on my fingers, it it makes me itch like there's no tomorrow. So I end up taking Benadryl a lot of the time <laughs> when I'm making these books. And so usually, I guess I'm like pretty <laughs> drowsy when I make these books. <laughs> Um, some really pretty little mini tags that I made right there. Another interactive piece here just features like two little tiny tags. That's it. Nothing really fancy. Still waiting to get to the part that I like. Oh, I forgot to mention. I, I missed the part where um, the I had those little tags on the lobster clasp. But that is a total Wendy inspired type thing which i i think i've used in almost every journal that i've made um ever since i've seen wendy do that on her channel uh that's my version of doing it and then i use um jarves tags here as a tuck spot and look at leonardo's picture there and that's supposed to be of christ i don't think that is a woman i think that's supposed to be of christ some coffee dyed paper some i don't remember which book that is i i think i use like maybe four different type no i would say five different types of italian themed books in the making of this journal and look i use some of medieval mirages uh scraps there it says medieval mirage right there and copyright medieval <laughs> I am going to, so whatever digital kit I use, I'm going to start trying to incorporate the copyrighted parts into the books of whichever artists that I use. I th I think it's mm, not, it's kind of hilarious, but it's more, more of a nod to the creator of these digital kits because, you know, it's a lot of work. I've, I've done some creating of my own, nothing that I'm going to put out now, <laughs> but it takes a long time. And you just have to have the patience for it. Oh, this is one of my favorite parts here. Not this part right here, but on the other side of it. So anyways, um, I did some Jackson Pollock uh, type of gold painting on the paper there, as you, as you can see. <laughs> There's a little bookmark uh, tag there. It's a real flower on the inside of that um, modified envelope with a real photo piece, an Italian photo. And then that folds over. And this is the part I'm talking about. So I have like, so those are some rhinestones um, that I glued on there with three pictures of Kelly lilies with different names from one of Jarve's kits, Gothic, I think Renaissance and Medieval perhaps. And I'm only going to pull out one of them, but each of these um, in the windows will feature a picture, some type of religious picture. And then when you flip it over, it, you'll have like an icon um, of some type of saint. So Leah is really, and um, Leah told me that she was interested in um, anything like church related, religious related. So that's why I created this um, for her, I got inspired by this one page of this book um, that had like these little mini images. So I cut those out and decided to make something like that. I don't even know how that came to mind, but I did it. Um, then here's a magnetic little belly band there. It opens up to feature some notepad paper. And then on the very first um, flap of that page that I'm holding up, here I bring it down. 
um, there is like a little um, another mini belly band featuring a tiny tiny little tug I think I said tiny twice can you tell I'm rambling <laughs> Um, yeah, so some mulberry paper, and then, oh, sorry, guys, uh, so, um, so I don't know why I didn't open that piece up, but that is like a, um, flap that is holding something on the inside, don't remember what it was, but then here's another modified envelope with some dried flowers on the inside, and then there's two tags there. I think I only show one of the tags because I'm beginning to realize I don't need to show everything when I create a video. Otherwise, videos will be an hour or so long. I was actually surprised I was able to get this video down to like under 40 minutes. <laughs> um, here is a little side um, or like a little tuck spot pocket with a little mini tag there. And those images I pulled from one of those Italian themed books that I have, that I got for Lea. <laughs> um, I couldn't do, I couldn't collage on the, on those images. I just thought it was just so beautiful. So I just left it as is and then just gold gilded the ends of it. And that opens up to feature some book images. Yeah. I like how a lot of your the antique books, they have like this beautiful, delicate type of, um, not mulberry paper, but some type of delicate tissue paper to protect the illustrations. So I try to incorporate that on images that I think are very um, unique, I suppose. I love this image that Jarf has here. Here's a double belly band featuring a long tag. I think only those um, three signatures have that. The first signature, I don't think I have. I incorporated that in there. Some more foiling that I did. And you can learn how to do that from Jarv's channel, uh, Medieval Mirage. She shows you guys how to use your laser printer and also um, methods if you don't have a laser printer of um, using the, the aluminum foil. And here's a mini uh, tag book here. And then there's a side tuck there. And then the back of this piece is also a side tuck. And then that's the end of that signature. And we are going to be on the very last signature. We are almost done. So here is a, the last signature featuring a modified envelope here with a little notepad piece of paper. Those two go up so you can do some secret journaling on the gessoed print. It's not gessoed print, I put the gesso on there. <laughs> um, some more calla lilies for Leia on a collage tug. Some beautiful mini pages from Jarve's kit. Um, mulberry paper and some f foiling that I did on, on one of Jarve's images on tracing paper it took me a while to perfect <laughs> I think I spent a day just doing um, foiling some images um, here is a tag keeping this piece close you could um, write some thoughts on the back of that and when you pull it down it features this beautiful naked lady <laughs> half naked lady smelling her calla lily and i have a inside tug there or inside tuck then another calla lily um, transparent pocket and i kept some of the pockets better as you probably already guessed leia <laughs> um i couldn't put everything into um this book uh, some mini tags here. I I think I should, from now on, make maybe maybe make my Wendy inspired um, tag flips or envelope flips bigger. I think maybe these were just a little bit on this uh, narrow side, and I didn't really quite like it that much. I don't know why, but um, it has nothing to do with Jarv's design. I just 
I don't know. I just didn't really want to like crop or resize any of Jarf's images. I wanted to use them as they were printed out on the paper. But yeah, I'm just, I'm not quite fond of this narrow, narrow uh, tag flips that I created. Oh my gosh, this is one of my favorite things. And I got this idea, it's inspired by Andrea Morrison from one of the books that she made for me, one of the journals. Um, she inspired me to make this um, peacock style uh, side tuck pocket, I guess you could call it. And I will show you guys how to do it. It's very easy. Um, you just have to use a brad, but make certain that the very uh, first part that you adhere to the page is actually adhered to the page. <laughs> you want that immobile and then the other um, pieces to flow down from that. So I will show one of these times how to do it. It's very easy. It should take like maybe, I don't know, less than 10 minutes, probably seven minutes. If you have everything printed, um, this is a dried flower in uh, sewn in some uh, wrapping paper or packaging. This is one of Jarve's postcards that I embellished on with collages, and um, I'm just in love with that gold mesh, guys. If you guys, I bought I bought that particular one. The, it's like a gold mesh with gold sequins on it, and I used that that piece in Andrea's journal but you can find that in, I believe at Walmart and it lasts a long time I, I wish I could just whip it out now so I could show you guys what I mean oh I forgot about this oh they're not naked they're semi-naked <laughs> this book I'm so sorry Leo. <laughs> but the Italian books that I use they like their naked people <laughs> but it's a magnetic uh belly band that you can flip up so you, the, to feature the, the nakedness or the half naked people. Um, yeah. <laughs> a ghost pocket with a collage tag. Um, you can use this part for a side tuck right there. And that is um, a photograph of some place in Italy. Um, some distress ink stenciled pages. Look at all of those images from Jarve. They're just so pretty. I'm uh, near the end. Here's another ghost pocket with a collage tag. And some beautiful mini pages here. There is a calla lily that flips up to feature some type of monument or some church. I don't remember, but I, I love part of the inscription there for Leah to read. Um, some die cutting. This is one of Jarve's um, ephemera parts that opens up like a trifold that I included a tag, a couple of tags and some images behind that. I think that's a calla lily painting. Yeah, there you go. Behind that um, a mulberry paper. And then a mini tag there. Like these little narrow tags, I love. But the ones that I have on the Clobster Lasp, I think for me personally, I made them too narrow. I, I just, I don't really care for it. I prefer the wider ones, I guess. <laughs> Even though I do love miniatures. Um, one of my favorite Jarf images of that, of that lady. Oh, I don't know if you guys can tell that belly band. I hand painted with three different types of metallic paints with detail brushing um this black and white illustration that i got from one of the books um, that i purchased for leah in order to create this journal but it came out beautifully and i wish i could photocopy it but i am not certain um if this image is um part of the public domain it probably is i just didn't want to risk um, getting a strike on that but yeah Anyways, um, I have a Daiso, <laughs> um, like tag like that, that was holding some like fabric that I used a long time ago. I just I just save all of my tags, you know, like the tags that you get when you buy uh, new articles of clothing, or <laughs> um, I don't know the packaging. I just save the packaging. But anyways, I have this beautiful painting here that I cut out into fours in order to create it. Um, this type of um, 
opening mechanism. I don't know how you call it. I always think of Tetris. I don't know why. It's not it has nothing to do with Tetris. <laughs> it's just my fatigue trying to make sense of my brain. <laughs> and the words just escape me. Oh well. Um so I'm near the end. So this uh, tag is holding this book flap uh close and it features a collage tag which I don't think I pull out all the way yay um, and then here is another modified envelope with the collage tag on the back I actually collaged a lot more on that tag you don't see it in this uh, image but it's more embellished I didn't like to me it was just a little too bare <laughs> yeah so anyways um I have this oversized side pocket here with this beautiful uh, Calla Lily tag that's collage on the back. And I don't know what I was doing on this one. This, I was just bored. I used some of my copy paper with some st uh, stamping. Then I added some, what do you call the, that textured gesso? It's not gesso. It's like a textured acrylic paint. I don't know what you call it, but... Um, it's probably gesso, <laughs> maybe, I don't know, but I, I got the idea, um, I think from Sue, um, from Paper Inspirations, and here is the end cover featuring uh, four images, I don't think these are naked people, the very first one I think was, <laughs> wait, there's more naked people, I'm sorry, <laughs> There's a lot of naked uh, or half-naked uh, individuals. Yeah. Do you guys ever find it unfair that... Why is it okay for women to be topless? But, you know, and, and show their, you know, breast and whatnot. But, like, men, they, you know... I don't know. Maybe I'm just overthinking it. Like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm sleep happy right now. I can't wait to edit my recording and... Uh, incorporate it into this uh, video and then post this on YouTube for everyone to finally see and judge <laughs> but um, yeah I want to thank you guys for everything and I will see you soon bye